SpaceboundUniverse.com presents Wrestlers and WWE Superstars Who Died in the Ring Number 10, Gary Albright On January 7, 2000, Albright was facing Lucifer Grimm. During the match, Grimm hit an RKO on Albright. However, Albright did not get up. Medics and wrestlers hit the ring in a desperate attempt to resuscitate Albright, but it was unsuccessful. He had died in the ring at the age of just 36. It was determined that Albright died of a heart attack, having had an enlarged heart and blockage of several coronary arteries. He also had undiagnosed diabetes. Number 9. Larry Cameron On December 13, 1993, Cameron was matched against former British heavyweight champion Tony St. Clair, himself a veteran of many Japanese tours, at a CWA show in Bremen, Germany. During the match, it became apparent that there was something very wrong, as Cameron suffered a massive heart attack in the ring. The referee immediately stopped the match and tried to revive Cameron, but it was to no avail. He was already dead at the age of 41. Number 8. Iron Mike DiBiase His most high-profile match was a boxer vs. wrestler contest with former world light heavyweight champion Archie Moore. In his final fight ever, Moore triumphed with a third-round knockout. DiBiase's final match was on July 2nd, 1969 in Lubbock, Texas, where he took on Man Mountain Mike, who weighed over 600 pounds. DiBiase suffered a heart attack during the match. Harley Race, who was on the bill, rushed to the ring to perform CPR and accompanied DiBiase to the hospital in an ambulance, but tragically, DiBiase was pronounced dead on arrival at the age of 45. Number 7. Owen Hart Owen plummeted approximately 80 feet landed chest first on the top rope just by a torn buckle and slumped into the ring. Fortunately for the TV audience, this footage never made it to air due to the slight delay that live TV is usually broadcasted on. Hart was rushed to the hospital, but he had died, most probably in the ring, from blunt force trauma at the age of 34. Number 6. Amiko Kato Kato received a hefty blow to the head that resulted in suffering an acute sprained membrane in her brain. She was rushed to the hospital but died 10 days later of intracerebral bleeding, or brain bleeding. She was aged just 23 and had been a professional wrestler for just a month and a half. Number 5. Mal, or King Kong, Kirk On August 24th, 1987, Kirk teamed with King Kendo to face Daddy and his nephew Greg Valentine. Daddy delivered a signature big splash, but after the pinfall had been counted, Kirk failed to get up and was turning blue. St. John ambulance staff entered the ring and he was rushed to the hospital but was pronounced dead on arrival. It emerged that Kirk had pre-existing heart condition. Number 4. Luther Lindsay Luther Lindsay was a groundbreaking pioneer in American professional wrestling. Luther was a black wrestler in an era of racial segregation in the United States. At this time, he was only allowed to wrestle with other black wrestlers. On February 21, 1972, in Charlotte, North Carolina, where he took on our local wrestler Bobby Paul. After 10 minutes, Lindsay scored the winning pinfall after a diving belly splash. However, he failed to get up after delivering the move. He had suffered a fatal heart attack upon impact and died on top of his opponent. He was taken back to the dressing room where he was declared dead shortly afterwards at the age of 47. Number 3. Plum Mariko on August 15, 1997, she teamed with Command Bolshoi to face Mayumi Ozaki and Riko Amano in a tag team match. Ozaki used one of her favorite maneuvers, the Leaguer Bomb, to pin Mariko. Mariko did not get up after the move. Number 2. Mitsuharu Misawa On June 13, 2009, Misawa teamed with his prodigy, Go Shiozaki, to challenge GHC World Tag Team Champions Bison Smith and Akitoshi Saito in Hiroshima. Misawa took a belly-to-back suplex from Saito. He stayed down on the canvas. A team of medics worked on him. Although the official cause of death was never released, it was widely believed that Misawa suffered a major injury to the cervical vertebrae, which connects the brain to the spine, which led to cardiac arrest after his death in the ring at the age of 46. And number 1, Oro. On October 26, 1993, Oro teamed with Brazo Di Plata and Lee Fiera against Cajos. Jockey Mate and Dr. Wagner Jr. Cajos clotheslined Oro, span around and landed on his head. Cajos attempted to pick him up, but Oro died before he was rushed to an ambulance. It is understood that he died from a brain aneurysm aged just 21.